Hi, I'm Scott with SteadyWest, and I'm going to talk to you today about email protocols. It may sound a bit dry, but it's very important when setting up email on your devices. There are two email protocols that you may have seen on your computer or devices, POP and IMAP. POP stands for Post Office Protocol, and IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. Crystal clear, right? There is one big difference between the two, though, and it all has to do with how your emails are stored on your devices. POP simply downloads your emails onto the computer you're currently using. So if you're using a computer and you delete an email, that email will still be visible on your iPhone when you access the email on it. That will also mean that if you've already read an email on one device, it will still show up as unread on another device. On top of all that, if you've created email folders, they'll only show up on the device on which you created the folder. So you won't be able to file your emails in a consistent manner. When you need to keep duplicating work like this, it can get really annoying. It's almost as annoying as the movie Titanic, which was released in 1998. That is also the last year that POP protocol was updated, over 20 years ago. With IMAP, you can synchronize your email across multiple devices. So if you read an email on your iPhone, it won't show up as unread on a computer device. It makes it a lot easier to manage all your email messages because you don't have to keep duplicating work. But how do you make your devices IMAP compatible? That will depend on the software they have and the email service you're using, like Gmail, Hotmail, or CityWest email services. There are some commonalities between all of them, though. For the most part, you'll see two options that you'll need to fill in, incoming mail server and outgoing mail server. For the incoming mail server, you'll see a heading called host name, where you'll fill in a code that begins with IMAP, and on the outgoing mail server, you'll find another host name, this time beginning with SMTP. In both cases, you should be able to get the full host name from your email provider under the settings menu. And that's email protocols in a nutshell. We've just scraped the surface here, but if you like more information on the topic, please visit the support page on our website. Thanks for watching.